News and Fox News alert. Tensions are flaring again tonight in the Middle East after Iran seized control of a British ship, apparently an oil tanker, passing into the Persian Gulf through the Straits of Hormuz. We're joined tonight by Congresswoman and Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii. She is in Puerto Rico tonight. You can hear the protests behind her in the background. In a moment, we'll get to why she's there. But first, we want to get back to the breaking news involving Iran. Congressman, thanks very much for coming on. What should be America's response to the news today? Uh, well, first of all, let's just recognize that what's happening right now is very precarious as we move closer and closer to the brink of war with Iran. Look, this has got to be above politics. This is not about politics. I love our country. I love our people. And I'm very concerned with the direction that we're taking and the failed strategy that Trump has. I think Trump needs to recognize at this moment he needs to open up back channels with Iran, get back into the Iran nuclear deal with the provision that we need to work towards a, a a demilitarization and de-escalation of tensions both with Iran but also Iran's arch enemies across the Middle East, countries like Saudi Arabia. This is so important. Right. We have to put the interests of our country and our people at the forefront ahead of everything else to make sure that we are preventing war and having a safer country for our people and for the world. So there is amen, by the way, and I, and I wish you weren't in such a small group of people saying that on both sides right now. Thank you for saying it. Um, but there is also news that American troops are, are going to Saudi Arabia. Um, do you think that that's a move that will escalate or de-escalate tensions with Iran? You know, this, this is uh, deeply concerning in such a personal way. These are my brothers and sisters in uniform who are leaving their loved ones and their families behind as they are being sent out to these countries across the Middle East, really for the sole purpose of this administration further escalating tensions with Iran. We are in this situation today because of Trump's failed policy and strategy, uh, really influenced by people like John Bolton, Mike Pompeo, Nikki Haley, and others, where first tearing up the Iran nuclear deal, escalating crippling sanctions, sending more and more U.S. troops. They are pushing us closer and closer to the brink of war, which is not good for the American people, not good for our troops, will make us less safe. What to speak of the devastation, the damage, and the cost, both the human cost as well as the cost on taxpayers that a war with Iran would entail. This is why it's so important right. for the president to do the right thing right now and to put our country first. I think that's the thing that he wants to do, and I hope that he will do it. Now, what, tell us about the shouting in the background. You are in Puerto Rico. I'm embarrassed to say I don't even have context for this. What are you doing there, and who's yelling? Uh, now, all week, Puerto Ricans from across Puerto Rico have been gathering by the thousands, calling for the resignation of Governor Roseo. So the chanting you're hearing in the background is literally calling for him to resign. Ricky, resign. I'm here in Puerto Rico to stand in solidarity with my fellow Americans here who really have been struggling and suffering, living under a corrupt government for far too long. You know, we've been hearing across the headlines about these leaked chats that came from the governor with homophobic slurs and, and threats and other things. But really what is driving thousands of people from all walks of life across Puerto Rico to gather as they are here tonight is something much bigger than what was in those chats. It speaks to this deep-seated corruption that exists, that has put the interests of the rich and powerful and the elite uh, at the forefront rather than actually serving the needs of the Puerto Rican people. For some reason, no one in Washington is willing to admit that, so thank you for saying it out loud. Clearly, everyone in Puerto Rico knows it's true. Tulsi Gabbard, it's great to see you tonight, and thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker.